Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I will be showing you five different redstone clocks that work in the new 1.17 update and they will all work on both Java and Bedrock. So let's get started. So the first one is my favorite one and why I'm showing it first. It's the hopper clock. It's really fast but you can also adjust it using repeaters like this and you can make it shorter or longer by increasing or decreasing the delay. This will be a slow clock. To build it is really easy, so you need one block there, you need a comparator, and then three redstone dust, put the comparator on subtract mode, but whatever you're powering it has to be at least two blocks away from this redstone dust for it to work right. And then we just need a lever there, turn it on, and it should be working. But if you add repeaters like this, it will no longer need to be two blocks away. So that was the hopper clock, the first clock and my favorite clock. The next clock is the observer clock. It's really small, really compact, and you can turn it on and off using a piston like this. This is also the easiest clock to make. It's just an observer there and an observer there. And you can put whatever you're powering some fireworks, I guess. And yeah, it's that simple. And that was the observer clock. The next clock is the torch burnout clock. When you update it, it will activate eight times and then the torch will burn out. Hence the name, the burnout clock. This one is useful if you're making a contraption that needs to activate a specific amount of times. This one's also super easy to build. Block there, torch there, block there, and a redstone dust there and you can put a button on the back to update it. And it should work, but I guess this one's also updating the one next to it. Strange. And that was the torch burnout clock. The next one is Etho's hopper clock. This one is really useful for measuring longer periods of time, and depending on the amount of items you put in it, it will measure a different amount of time. So this one has 16 items in it, so it's not super long, but if I put some more items in it, it will take longer. To build this one, you need a hopper there, a hopper there, break that hopper, put it in place it again, and the hopper should have the little things pointing into each other. Now you need a sticky piston there and a sticky piston there. I had one world where there weren't sticky pistons and it didn't work and I was really confused. It looks like it should work with regular pistons, but there's some stuff with like bud powering and block updates that I don't really understand that's happening. And yeah, so make sure you use sticky pistons. Put a redstone block there, compare to there, block there, redstone dust there, compare to there, block there, redstone dust there. And now you can put some items in it. No, oh, didn't need to put those fireworks. But yeah, you can put a lot of items in it and measure minutes and minutes at a time. And then if you put a redstone dust there, that's where the output can be. And the last one is the simple repeater clock. This one is very simple and it uses repeaters. And when we give it a one tick pulse, it will start going. It's very fast and it's adjustable. So if we do that, it will be a lot faster now or a lot slower now but it is annoying to get started and uh, turn it off and stuff. You can probably see how to build this one, but you need redstone dust there, redstone dust there, a repeater there, a repeater facing in the other direction, make sure it's in the other direction or it won't work, redstone dust there, redstone dust there, and then give it a one tick pulse. Just like that, and now it's working. And that was the simple repeater clock. Well, those are five different redstone clocks that work on both Java and Bedrock in 1.17. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe, and if you want to chat and make some friends, join our Discord server. The link to that is in the description below. And I hope you learned something in this video. I hope it helped you, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.